Hasitaan su, hasipaskaya, letaeu kakkoa. Hasitaan su, hasipaskoa. Hikoan, niitäkin. Hikoan, hasipaskoa. kind of life we can make for our children. Any woman who drinks alcohol when she's pregnant runs the risk of giving birth to a child who has fetal alcohol syndrome. But Native Americans and Alaska Natives are working hard to end FAA. Who do we block? We are all a part of our mother. We belong to her. there is a healing movement underway, a feeling that a no-alcohol way is a better way. Women are saying, not now. I will not drink while I'm pregnant. There's a strong line that attaches the American Indian woman to Mother Earth, life giver, and that's the role that the woman holds, you know, that of life giver. And it's a, a special blessing from the Creator that we are the life givers. When you find out that you're pregnant and that you've been given this gift of a little spirit to care for inside of yourself before you give birth, there's a tremendous responsibility there and we really you really need to look at everything that affects you and affects the baby that you're carrying. And we really have to look at things like choices that we make of what we uh, take into our body, like say, if we take alcohol into our body, what does that mean to the baby? Everything you take into your body, you're taking into the body of your child. When we can love and care for ourselves, we can care for those around us. For the ones that are pregnant and can give life, I can say how important that is for your own well-being as well as the little spirit that you're carrying. And that little spirit already has its spirit, mind, and body. And so then you're looking at harmony and balance for both, you know, the mother and the child. Whenever pregnant women drink, alcohol can cause serious birth defects known as fetal alcohol syndrome or fetal alcohol effects, commonly called FAS and FAE. Babies born with FAS are small slower mentally retarded, have deformed faces, and might have heart problems. A baby with FAE has similar birth defects. Babies do not get over FAS or FAE. They have it for life. I have a son that he's FAE and that's because of me. I died. He has a lot of problems in school. 
He is always in trouble. He has low self-esteem. He gets very mad. Cut the checkle and hide. My daughter we adopted, she's a FAS baby. She has the facial features and she also um says some of the most her too. She's very, very hyper. And then we have two foster kids. This one's FAS and the other one's alleged FAS. So it's, I've had all of it in my life. Saying that, you know, this can't happen to me. Well, it can happen to you. Look, it happened to me. I've learned my lesson, but please don't make any more like this. Mother is a gift. It's a gift that you should cherish. Because you're the one that's going to teach this kid. He's going to keep your heritage going. He's going to keep you alive when you pass away. He's going to keep your memory, your parents' memory. And it's and if they're normal, they can remember all that and be proud of what they are and who they are and become one nation again, one proud nation. Something we have to remember when we're pregnant is that we have all the control of making it very, very healthy during the time, during the nine months, before and after. And we ask women to not drink because even a little, a little, this much beer, this much whiskey, this much wine, that's like playing Russian roulette with your pregnancy because we don't, there's no safe amount. I think it's important when we're looking at our pregnancy and when we're like drinking beer or wine or wine cooler that as soon as we drink it, it goes into our bloodstream and goes right into our baby's bloodstream. So it's like we're pouring that can of beer right into the baby. A lot of people believe that these children are born drunk and that somehow they have a hangover and that they're okay. That's not true. The damage is permanent. That There's no cure for it. So no matter what you do, the child cannot get better. Another uh, false piece of information is that uh, the belief that only alcoholic women, for some reason, have children with FAS. Any woman who drinks any amount, amount of alcohol runs the risk of damaging her child. The alcohol is poison to you, poison to your system, and poison to your unborn baby, and poison to the spirit of your family around you. In our roles as fathers, brothers, uncles, or nephews, it's important that we encourage our sisters, our nieces, our wives, our companions, and our girlfriends to not to drink if they are pregnant or to stop if they are drinking because what they're doing it's not right in the old ways and the traditional ways that we are taught you know it is our role and our responsibility for our children and our future to make sure that they're brought into this world right that they have a home a good place a supporting family i drank with my child when i carried him Today, not a day goes by that, that I'm not free of the challenges that face us. It's very difficult. The unborn have a sacred trust in us, and we have a responsibility to them. And this is a gift given females by the Creator. And when we choose to drink, we also have to acknowledge the fact that there are consequences that go with it. And those consequences are not uh, something that I would want other people to live with. So part of what I do in my work today is that I feel it's important to be able to give back to the people what I've learned also to help other mothers understand that it's not about the shame but that there's a reason for why they've gotten to that point in their lives and why they depend on alcohol you know that they can learn to embrace themselves if you find yourself in a place where it doesn't feel so good and you don't like what you 
that you don't have to do it that way starting today. Today, you have the power to treat yourself and to put into your body only what you want, to treat yourself well, and to begin to have choice around how you want to live your life. For example, you can say, not now. I'm going to wait because I want my baby to be healthy. I'm doing this because I love my baby. But sometimes just go into the bathroom, look into the mirror, and talk to yourself or talk to your baby. Write a letter to your baby. For example, you say, dear baby, today I didn't do this so you'd be healthy. And sometimes we've got to have that ally or someone who is a comforter, someone who's a nurturer, someone who's compassionate, someone who just sits with you. Just sitting somewhere and, and, and helping them to get calm when they just feel like baby moves and then to walk. To walk and be really important. Especially where there's a setting and you can hear the birds and you can see nature. And you kind of like have a, an appreciation. And I think the babies feel that also. And music, music is really important. Um, You'll notice with the native people, a lot of babies automatically know how to dance. That's because the mom always went to powwows and they always heard the drum. There's a real connection with the drum. It's almost time for the grand entry of the powwow, and it's a new day for the Indian people, as women say, not now, to alcohol, in order to protect their babies from FAS. When you're in the state of pregnancy, you are in the most beautiful time of your life. You are in a very sacred cycle of trust that has been given to you, and it's a blessing. My message would be to the young mothers, think about it, you know, that we have the sacred trust that the unborn has in us as mothers. It's just it's a gift given to us by the Creator. Do not reject the death of the elders, but draw it into your spirit, mind, and body. Gather strength for life not by holding each other tight, that we finish this life giving all together. Thank <laughs> you.